Hi friends, our today's topic is application of integrals. Till now, you people have already done how to find the areas of triangle, rectangle, quadrilaterals, circles and other closed figures. Today, we shall discuss how to find areas under the different kinds of curves. And we will be using integration in order to find all these areas. So our today's topic is applications of integrals. Before we start with the topic, it is very important to recapitulate different types of equations, equations of different kinds of curves and their graphs. So let us start with the first equation. The first equation which we are going to discuss is x square equals 4 times ay. This equation represents a parabola and an upward parabola. The second equation is x square equals to minus 4ay. Whenever negative sign comes, then the upward parabola becomes downward parabola. And x square minus 4ay represents a downward parabola. Next one is y square equals to 4ax. y square equal to 4ax represents a right hand parabola which is symmetric with respect to x axis and centralized at origin. y square equal to minus 4ax represents a left hand parabola again symmetric with respect to x axis and vertex at origin. Next equation is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equals to 1 where a is greater than b. This equation represents an ellipse whose major axis lies on x axis and the minor axis lies on y axis and it is symmetric with respect to both the axes. Next one is x square upon b square plus y square upon a square equals to 1. Again, a is greater than b. In this case, if denominator of y square becomes greater than denominator of x square, then it represents an ellipse, but this time the major axis lies on y axis, not on x axis. And here is a curve. Next equation, a very important one x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equals to r square represent a circle whose center lies at a comma b and radius is r. And friends, any quadratic equation in which there does not exist any term of x, y, coefficient of x square and y square is same and after converting it into standard form that is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equal to r square right hand side is positive then it will always represent a circle. Next is another function which we will be discussing in this chapter that is y equals to mod of x and this modulus function here is a graph of modulus function y equals to x if x is positive and y equals to minus x in case x is negative so our graph will only be in first quadrant and in second quadrant first quadrant if x is positive second quadrant if x is negative friends in addition to these graphs i shall also discuss certain transformations which take place let us consider y equal to fx is a graph which is given to us and the equation gets transformed from y equal to fx to y equal to fx plus c. What will happen to the graph if it becomes y equal to fx plus c if a constant is added on the right hand side? Yes, the graph will shift vertically upward by c units provided c is positive. Here is an example. I have taken an example in case of modulus function. Let us consider instead of y equal to mod x, we have y equal to mod x plus 1. What will happen in this case? I have added 1 on right hand side. So graph will shift vertically upward by 1 unit. In case if we subtract c from right hand side, that is y equal to fx minus c, the graph will shift vertically downwards by c units where c is again a positive number. Another example I have taken, y if it is, if we have y equal to mod x minus 1, then graph of mod x will shift vertically downwards by one unit and here is a graph. 
In case the transformation takes place such that if it becomes y equal to f of x minus c, the graph will shift horizontally c units towards positive x-axis. And an example, if y equal to mod x becomes y equal to mod of x minus 1, the graph will shift one unit horizontally towards positive x-axis. And if it becomes y equals to f of x plus c, where c is again positive, in that case, the graph will shift horizontally by c units towards negative x-axis. And an example, if y equal to mod x becomes y equal to mod of x plus 1, in that case, the graph will shift one unit on negative x-axis horizontally and the vertex will lie on minus 1,0. Let us consider our equation y equal to fx becomes y equal to f of x minus 1 minus 1. What will happen to the graph? Let us see. Again, let's take the same similar example that is y equals to mod x becomes y equal to mod of x minus 1 plus 1. Here is the example. What will happen to this graph? Yes, right. The graph will first shift one unit horizontally on the right hand side and one unit vertically upwards and the vertex will be at 1 comma 1. So, this was brief recapitulation of different kind of equations and their graphical representations and few transformations of course I have discussed. So friends, let's come back to our original topic that is area under the curves. Now we can have two different kind of situations. The first one where we are finding area under the curve on x-axis and where we are finding the area under the curve on y-axis. Let's discuss one by one. Suppose we need to find the area under the curve on x-axis from point x equal to a to point x equal to b. In that case, the area under the curve will be equal to integral y dx and limit from x equal to a to x equal to b where we will substitute the value of y from the equation in terms of x and then integrate. And in case if we have to find the area under the curve on y-axis, in that case the area under the curve will be equal to integral x dy and the limits will be y equals to a to b where we will substitute the value of x in terms of y from the given equation and then we will integrate. For the clarity of topic, I will be discussing 9 different types of examples where I will be finding the area under the curves. If you people really want to gain in this video, my suggestion to you is keep a register and a pen in your hand and keep on making notes in between the lecture and wherever required you just pause my video. In some questions, I have not completely solved the integrals in last one or two steps because the purpose of this video is to explain application of integrals that is area under the curve, not how to find integrals of different functions. So I assume that integrals you people have already done. And again my suggestion, wherever I have not calculated the integral, just pause the video and find the integral on your own and then proceed to the next example. The first example is find the area bounded by the curve whose equation is x square plus 4 times y square equals to 16. Before we start with the question, we need to understand what kind of curve will be formed by the given equation and we will draw a rough sketch of the curve before starting the question. Since the coefficient of x square and y square are not equal, hence the curve cannot be a circle. Let us divide the whole equation by 16. We will get x square upon 16 plus y square upon 4 equals to 1. And again 16 is square of 4 and 4 is square of 2. We will get x square upon 4 square plus y square upon 2 square equals to 1 which is a standard equation of an ellipse. 
since the denominator of x square is greater than the denominator of y square, hence the major axis will be x axis and here is a graph of the ellipse. And this is the ellipse which we will obtain. Now, area which we need to calculate is the area of the shaded region. Instead of finding this shaded region, it will be convenient for us to find this yellow shaded region and we will multiply it with 4 and we will get the answer. We can find this area in two different ways. Number one, we can find area under the curve on x-axis from x equal to 0 to 4. Number two, we can find area under the curve on y-axis from y equals to 0 to y equals to 2. Let us solve it by taking area on x-axis and we know that area on x-axis is nothing but integral of y dx and obviously limits we will take from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4. So the required area will become 4 times area of shaded region which is equals to integral 0 to 4 y dx and value of y we will substitute from the given equation. From the given equation if we find the value of y, value of y is equal to plus minus 2 times square root of 1 minus x square upon 4 square. But area cannot be negative so we will ignore the negative sign and we will solve the problem by taking positive sign only. We know that integral of root a square minus x square is equal to x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x upon a applying the standard formula of integral and substituting the elements we will get the solution and the answer is 16 times sin inverse 1 which is nothing but equal to 8 pi square units whenever we write the solution it has to be in square units because we are finding the area Question number 2. Find the area bounded by 4y equals to x square and y equals to mod of x. Step number 1 is to plot the graph of these functions. But I suggest you before plotting the graph of these functions, find the points of intersection. And the points of intersection we will obtain only after solving these two equations. Solving these two equations, we will get three solutions x equal to 0 and plus minus 4. Now, these two curves will intersect at three points, minus 4, 0 and 4. And now, let us plot the graph of both the functions. What we have to do is, we have to find the area of shaded region. Now, instead of finding area of this shaded region, what I will do is, I will find the area of shaded region only in the first quadrant and I will multiply it by 2, I will get the required area. So, our required area is 2 times area of this shaded region. Now how to find the area of this shaded region? First of all, area under the line. Look at this shaded region. This shaded region represents area on axis under the line from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4 which is nothing but equals to integral of y from x equals to 0 to 4 dx. This yellow shaded region represents area under the parabola from x equal to 0 to x equal to 4 and if we subtract area under the parabola from area under the line we will get our required area. We will get the area of the blue shaded region from the equation of line and parabola respectively. And beyond this point you can find the definite integral and obtain the solution.